everyone, it's Justine, and today I have sort of a just for fun video that I created. I'm absolutely in love with alcohol inks. I have been for years and years. I've been doing tutorials since I very first started doing tutorials with them. And I'm going to be creating a couple of backgrounds today to show you how you can make your own custom cards and your own custom sentiments. Now, of course, I'm going to be creating three different panels in three different colors to create six different cards. However, I'm going to show you some different variations as well as you could always mix and match the colors underneath each letter. Now that I go back and think about it, there are a few things I would have done differently and I will let you know what those are so that you can make the decision about how you want to make them if you're going to be making the same style of card. So I'm using a felt applicator as well as alcohol inks. I'm using three different colors here and I will have all the colors listed below in the video description. I, as you can see, I'm just kind of randomly putting little squirts onto each area and I'm randomizing the colors. And then I just go over some alcohol ink cardstock and I'm just doing kind of a back and forth swish motion as well as a pounce. I tried the Yupo paper. Everybody seems to be using Yupo paper, which I originally had just thought it was a rebranded version of Ranger's Adirondack alcohol ink paper. It's not. I'm not a big fan of the Yupo paper. I find the alcohol ink paper to actually uh, smooth, be more smooth and easier to use than the Yupo paper. But that's just my opinion and everybody, of course, has their own preferences. So after I finish, I kind of go in and I think to myself, what color do I really want this to be? And I'm going to go in and add a little bit more pink rather than the purple for this one here. And now, since I've taught you how to use them the first time, I'm going to be doing the same technique, just switching out the colors each time. So for the next one, I am going to be using this citrus color, which I've been wanting to use for such a long time. And I'm going to pair it with a little bit of blue and a little bit of silver. So I'm actually going to be pouncing this back and forth again onto the background. And I'm going to be creating some really fun looking cards. I love the way that this one looked as is, but I decided to go in once again and just add a little bit more color to it. For my last color, I decided to go for more of a yellow and bright sunshine look. So I grabbed some sunshine as well as some sunset orange and I believe some butterscotch or gold rather. No, it was a gold metallic mixative, sorry. And I just went along there to create a really bright and fun color. So I really love the vibrancy and the happiness that this one gives. Now in order to make custom cards, you of course need to be able to customize your sentiments. Now I decided to use some dies from Altenew. So I'm using two different die sets. So this alphabet, the bold alphabet, comes in an uppercase as well as a lowercase die set. So you can choose which one you like better. The uppercase, you can see, are just the outline of it, where the lowercase actually have the inside filled in, so it's a little bit harder to see exactly what you're doing. So I'm going to actually mix and match them today in order to create some different cards. In all honesty, I actually like the lowercase ones more for these types of sentiments, and you're able to squeeze a little bit more onto each card. So I would recommend, if you can only get one, to get the lowercase. But alphabet dies can be quite expensive, so I would also have a couple of suggestions down below as to smaller, more affordable sets. And of course, you could just simply use word dies for this technique as well. So if you have a word die in your stash, don't be afraid to use it and switch out this technique. Now, in order to attach them together to make sure that they stay on straight, I'm using the lines on my grid mat to help me out. And I'm going to be using just some plain scotch tape to hold the letters together that are solid. And for the capital letters, the ones with the holes in the center, I'm using some post-it tape because I know that there's a possibility that this tape is going to end up touching my paper and I don't want it to rip. So I decided to do the thank and then I'm going to do hugs in capital letters knowing full well that these four letters will fit no problem onto the front of my cardstock. So I ran all of these dies through my die cutting machine onto various card panels and I created a couple other sentiments as well. And I also wanted to show you one other variation here. So I'm going to be using my mini Misty as well as the Wings of Hope stamp set from Altenew which is an absolutely gorgeous stamp set that has some really really beautiful sentiments on it. And I am going to be stamping this onto my card panel, this really large sentiment here. It's a very beautiful quote. And I'm going to be cutting out the letters out of this panel as well in the hugs and then placing them all together to rearrange the sentiment. So I'm going to be using some VersaFine ink in order to stamp this down. This is a very detailed black ink that I like to use. And I'm going to stamp that onto my card and I will show you later what I do with it. 
I also wanted to apologize that if you hear any snoring in the background, that would be my dog. He is quite the snorer and loves to nap when I make videos. So on a more serious note, this stamp says, There is a sacredness in tears. They are not the mark of weakness, but of power. They speak more eloquently than 10,000 tongues. They are messengers of overwhelming grief and unspeakable love. And it was said by Washington Irving, and I absolutely love that. I think it's such a gorgeous sentiment, and I'm really excited to be able to give this to a friend in need. That I have to say, Altenew has some of the best sentiments because they're just so unique. They're not just the typical ones you see everywhere. They're so gorgeous and they don't, they aren't afraid to really take the time to make such a big quote like this. So I've grabbed my hugs die once again and I am running this through my die cutting machine in order to cut the words out here and it's just going to create a nice little pop and I'm going to keep this completely black, white and simple because I think that speaks to the sentiment really. Now it's time to put everything together and boy am I happy for the crop feature on my video editing because my desk is a complete disaster right now. So I'm going to be adding the alcohol ink backgrounds onto each one of these card panels and I am going, I've cut them down in half so that they fit perfectly onto the back and are going to not waste any of the pretty paper that we just created. So you have lots of room and lots of space to create two cards out of each alcohol panel. And I am going in to add the little pieces of white that are missing from the centers. I think that really just adds a little bit of something, but you could obviously leave them out as well. A lot of people really like the letters like that, and that was quite in style not too long ago. So, But for me, I just like to have the middles of the A's and the O's and the D's and the B's in there. It's just my thing. And then lastly, I'm just going to put together this hugs card and you can see here how gorgeous they are. And I am going to actually go ahead and add some 3D foam tape inside of the hug sentiment and then place each letter on top so that they really shine through. But you have to make sure that they line up really well when you're doing it. So I think that this card is just really perfect to give to someone in need. Sometimes simple is better, it's not too complicated, and it's just really, really pretty when it's all finished. So I wanted to give you a final look at all of the cards that I created here. I will link in the video description below all of the stamps I used to stamp underneath. All I did was just a plain stamp with black ink, so I didn't bother stamping that to show you. But they are there underneath. So happy birthday, hugs, you've got this and I've got you, and then the thank you. And I also wanted to show a sneak preview for something I created for a challenge blog that I'm not allowed to completely show you. But I created this craft, eat sleep craft card, with all sorts of the different colors that we created with all the leftover pieces. And that will be on display at some point over on Stamp Nation at Catherine Pooler's website. So thanks so much for watching everyone. I have a suggested video for you and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel you can go ahead and do that now. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!